Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial and a bit of a shout out. So let's get cracking. Friends, this tutorial comes from Designer Snapdragon. I'm taking you to the designer directory and let's check out Snapdragon's projects. Whenever you click on one of these, it sorts by likes. I want to instead sort by recent. This shows you the latest projects and one of my favorites is this food contest. This contest ends in just a few days, so I'm giving you advantage to get into it. I think this is a awesome idea, so I'm giving an awesome. And let me show you how to make an awesome pie the Snapdragon created. Friends, of course, step one is to get to Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. And then we're going to create a new 3D design. We are going to make an amazingly simple pie. I'm going to call this pie. I'm also going to put my initials after it just because that's what I do. The first shape we're going to use is the cone. This is going to be our pie crust. We're going to type some numbers here. So a pie crust opens up, so we want the radius to be larger than the base. I'm going to change this base radius to 15. I'm going to change the top radius to 25 and press enter. I'm going to take the height and instead of 20, I'm going to change that to 8 and see if I like that pie shape. Friends, that's not bad. Let's instead make this 18 so it's a little less sloped. Boom! Amazing pie shape. I'm going to make it a brown color, so it's the crust, and I'm going to make the sides all the way to the right, so it's more rounded. We are also going to cut out our pie. Let's do that with Control D. So we just made a duplicate, and let's do Control up, two clicks. So we raised it up two millimeters. We're going to make it a hole. Friends, if you take those two and group them, which the shortcut is Control G, you have got your graham cracker pie crust just like that. Friends, the next part is going to use the sweet search. When you click on this button, I want you to type ring. When you press enter, we are looking for the twisted ring. When that comes out, we're going to make it a brown. So it's going to be the ring around the edge of our crust. Friends, let's change a couple parameters. I want you to make this thickness two, and I want you to make the fiber count four. And let's make the number of twist five. You can try different ones. This is just what I am choosing. And then I'm going to do control A to grab them both. Let's do a line. I want the pie to be the boss. And I want to go to the center of the pie, the center of the pie, and the top of the pie. Now we're going to hold down alt and shift. So you're using two fingers. We're also going to change our nudge to 0.25. And when we alt shift, that crust comes out to the edge just like that. Now, friends, if you don't like that thickness, remember you can go back and you can adjust these as you try and make your pie crust look exactly the way you want. All right, so now we're going to make the top of our pie. Once again, we are going to search. This time, we are going to type weave. When you find the weave, we want this one right here. Of course, bring it out and drop it in. To fit the pie I created, I'm going to tell you that we're going to use seven and seven. And that looks just like I want. Once again, we're going to do shift select to grab those two do a line we're going to click on the pie and make it the boss and do center center and top so now we have got the pie crust i'm going to raise that up with control up just a couple clicks and then all we need to do is trim the edges watch how easy this is i'm going to hide our twisty ring i'm going to come back here and get rid of the weave and instead bring out the tube let's take this radius and let's make it 25. Let's make our wall thickness six and press enter and see if that's good. So those numbers are not big enough. I've moved it into place. So instead, let's make the radius 30. And you can see that does come out to the right spot. I am gonna change it to 64 sides, make it a hole. And now we can shift select. So I'm holding down shift, clicking on the weave. I'm gonna do a line. I'm gonna make the weave the boss and choose center and center. With those two selected friends, I'm going to do group. After a moment it groups, you can see that trimmed pretty sweet. If we hit show all, we have now got a pie with a pie crust. Let's add some filling really, really quick. I'm going to fill my pie with strawberry filling. You can come up with whatever you want. Once again, though, I'm just bringing out the cone. And we're adjusting these numbers. I'm going to put in a 20, and I'm going to put in a 16, and I'm going to put in a 4. That looks pretty good. Let me make it the red that would be a strawberry pie. 
You can double check to make sure it fits where you want. When you hit show all, boom, you have got a pie with filling. I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground. Let's do one more quick search. Let's type drill. It gives us this awesome piece. And friends, if you make it white, it looks like you've got a little bit of whipped cream on your pie as well. How slick is that? Now, friends, I want to say thanks again to Snapdragon. Oh my gosh, such a creative designer and so awesome that you're sharing it with us so we can turn it into tutorials. Friends, if you ever create something awesome like this cute little Detroit Lions Jeep I created and you want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website with a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and then down at the bottom, the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, we've got more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk anything Tinkercad. As we wrap up, friends, though, don't forget, we need to thank Snapdragon. Check out her profile in the description. Make sure when you find her designs that are awesome, you give her a reaction. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.